Thanks, Tim. Uh, good morning, everybody. And again, if I can uh, welcome you on behalf of Civica. Uh, it's great to be back in Manchester, my home city, so I'm always pleased to be here. And uh, I think uh, today, looking at the agenda, it's a really relevant agenda for uh, the challenges that we're all facing. What I hope to do today is give you a little bit of an insight into where we think the market's going, some of the challenges that we're seeing, and then how we think Civic can, can help uh, as a partner to your organisations deliver um, enhanced benefits. So, whoops, Tim, you sent it the wrong way around. Okay, so just another year, a few faces there that you've probably recognised. Uh, 2018 is going to be one of those years which I think is going to speed very quickly. Um, obviously, some big national events going on and I think a lot of uh, uncertainty. And with uncertainty, of course, it impacts everybody. It impacts us um, supporting yourselves, but obviously you supporting your citizens and customers. Um, I think when we think about it overall, though, at the local level where public services are actually delivered, most importantly, there's probably not going to be any change on what we've recognised over the last five years. There'll be lots of national things, but uh, I think the challenges that we're dealing with and you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis will continue. They may be intensified slightly, but I think overall um, these things are going to play out in the background. And of course, Mrs Mays has shuffled her cabinet again. I think it's kind of more of the same as people are seeing it. And again, I think that always plays out to be at local level the opportunity exists and I guess with change we continue to see opportunity. We've identified uh, four key priorities, I think you'd recognise them as things that we think are going to be key initiatives for the coming years and certainly stronger places and communities, we, we had this fed back to us in many many different ways. Um, one of the things that we've gone through ourselves as an organisation is we've brought a new investor in, uh, the new investor is Partners Group uh, and one of the things that happens when your business is being looked at for a new investor coming in is they do an awful lot of research about the markets. And the information that they picked up, the information that we've operated to, definitely tells us that you know, communities are still a Im really important part of the delivery mechanism. Uh, financial sustainability, more for less. It continues, it's not going to change. And of course, a big theme for us is how we can assist all our customers across both the UK and our international division who've got the same challenges. What can we do that will make it easier, better, quicker, and obviously lower cost to deliver? Um, increasing demand and expectation. Uh, one of the themes that we recognised maybe three years ago was that the, our customers and our citizens are getting used to using technology, and they're using it in a way that we probably never thought about. And the demographics and so forth show that it actually it's, it's across not just the 17 to 25 year olds, it's the 70s and the 80s. Everybody's getting used to technology. Everybody's starting to see technology as a way to operate. And of course, the commercial world, the private sector world is pushing more and more about how people self-serve and how they are able to access information. And in that, creates some really big challenges. And of course, how do you prioritize the today issues with the future issues. And again, um, as an organisation, as a company, we've invested heavily within digital, which is the, the kind of fourth theme. Digital isn't arriving, it has arrived. It's really now about what is the strategy and then how do you execute that strategy. And over the last three years, we've invested and we've now got something in the order of about 800 colleagues across our group who are specialists within the digital world. And last night at the forum, uh, for example, some of our tables were discussing what those digital impacts are going to be, how the people can be best placed to deliver them, and what changes and, and what, what are the things that we're going to try to trade off. And I guess these are all things which need to be addressed um, over the coming uh, day or so. And certainly a, a big welcome from our perspective to our panel members today, who have, Tim has quite rightly said has travelled far and wide to be here, and hopefully um, we can get some insight from them and from yourselves about what you think these priorities are going to actually play out to be. All of this pushed together basically means we have to keep delivering. Civic as an organisation has to keep delivering for yourselves. We have to be looking to the future, the trends and bringing them all together. And you on a day by day basis are continuing to deliver amazing services um, and really making a difference. And in terms of digital transformation, um, it's just 
becoming bigger and bigger. I was out in Australia with um, our international colleagues running exactly the same event that we've got here uh, with the international colleagues and the local government and housing uh, over in Australia, and it's the same challenges. And digital is what do we do, when do we do it, how do we actually trade off, what priorities are gonna be there. And most importantly, as technology is ever increasing, ever speeding through, as we start to generate these new ideas, these new strategies, new things are coming amongst us. And certainly we're looking at areas, automation, artificial intelligence, machine learning, they're all themes that are gonna to start to put, play out within the digital arena over the coming years. So again, trying to be ahead of this and making sure that we're relevant and, and can actually share this information and make sure we can be a partner who can help you develop and grow. And I think from our perspective, with all things, there is always opportunity. And uh, we're very excited about the digital transformation that's, that's available for the market. Uh, in terms of a little bit about Civica, how we've been performing, I think that's important. We want to be a strong partner. We need to be a strong partner. We have to invest to be a strong partner. And again, part of my job as the Chief Exec of Civica is to make sure we set a strong strategy that is relevant. And our strategy is very fixed. I mean, one of the things about bringing a new investor on board is, you know, we had the choice of investor. We have the choice of who is going to be part of our business and help us drive our business forward. And in choosing that, one of the things that was really clear to us is the culture and the values of the organizations that we partner with. And in our investor, with uh, our new investors, Partners Group, a Swiss uh, investment house, and they specifically have come from the same heritage that we've come from. They're a business that actually has worked with the public sector for many, many years across international US, UK, Australia, and Europe. Uh, and specifically around supporting pension funds, et cetera. So again, a very close fit to where we are today, but most importantly, having the same vision. And our vision is about being able to grow the business, develop the business. And one of our key stats there on ongoing investment is, roughly speaking, about 20% of our revenues, year on year, we invest in new products and services. And it's a commitment that we've given to our investor that that's what we need to do to stay relevant, to support our customers and to support our customers and their citizens and their customers. So it's a really important part of our strategy. We focus on five markets. They're all across the public services. We are really, truly an internationally business focused on public services. And that's, that, again, means that we can be quite disciplined about how we best support the market and the customers that we work with. The other side of our investment, which is a really important part for us, is our people. And I'm delighted last year, we achieved IIP Gold again, which is, you know, it's a really strong benchmark. Year on year, IIP, IIP gets more complicated and requires more effort to actually achieve those very high standards. And I'm delighted that we again uh, have achieved the IIP Gold. Uh, we also did something, as you can see there, around, I actually thought it was on, it's been taken off, but um, we've done around about 120,000 days of training last year across three and a half thousand people. So developing our colleagues, making them relevant, making sure that they are able to deliver strongly to support you, the customer, is really important to us. And I think it's one of the proud stats that we have is how much we invest in our people. And that's kind of transformed itself into many of our customer surveys and many of our employee surveys rate us very highly in those areas. And I think that's, that, again, is investment that we see as paramount to our strategy. Um, in terms of the uh, performance and growth, the business had a very strong year. We finished our year in September, um, and again, um, from year on year, we've continued to grow and develop both here and internationally, and by having both markets, it means we can transfer our products and services in both directions, and of course, we can see trends and make sure if we can see something happening in one market, we can transfer it to another, and vice versa, and that makes sure that we continue to be able to be relevant. Uh, and again, as we look forward, we think 2018, 19 for us, it's going to be a very strong year. And uh, we're delighted that, um, you know, you've been there to support us and we very much value that. And we mostly value the fact that you've taken the time today, you know, start of a new year. You've all got very, very difficult jobs and very lots of things that are required here and now to be done. To take the time out today is really important to us. And we, we will value the feedback and your input today and certainly 
we've got enough colleagues of the Civica group around to make sure that we can interact. And uh, please, if you have issues or you have things that we should be thinking about, please seek out one of the, the team and make sure that we capture them and we can, uh, we can add them into our overall thought processes and strategy. Uh, and again, when we think going forward, our investor is committed to making further investment in the business and part of what we try and do is to identify new businesses, new opportunities, new markets that we can develop further and again, in making investment in acquisitions that can strengthen our capabilities is one of our core tenants of the strategy. So again, I'm delighted that we'll be able to continue that investment going forward. And again, when we look at the priorities for 2018, um, I think these are things which you would very much recognise. Um, I have to look behind me, I actually can't see the screens down here, but uh, vision and leadership. Um, you know, without leaders and without vision, um, things are not going to happen. And certainly, whatever we start to, to transform today and start that strategy today, is probably going to take four or five years to really come through. So what we start to think about today and we plan we're really going to see the benefits in probably 2023. So it's important that we have that clear vision, strong leadership, and we can take that forward. And hopefully the panels today will be able to give some insights into that and some areas that you can think about which will enhance your abilities. Innovation, innovation, innovation. Everybody wants it. Everybody needs it. Um, you have to carve out time for it. A lot of our time, you know, we spend trying to figure out working with our customers. And the only way you can really innovate is to sit down with your customers and really find out what are the things that they really need versus the things that they would like to have. And I think that's clear and being very disciplined about being able to, to disseminate that quickly and making sure the organization follows uh, along that route. Digital transformation across all our markets, certainly our central government market has had a very strong growth in and digital transformation, but we're now starting to see that permeate through our health markets, our housing, and our local government markets. So again, we're very excited. And I think overall, like any organization, you're only as good as the partnerships you develop. And we pride ourselves in Civica. Uh, when Simon set up the business 17 years ago, one of the tenets of the business was to build strong partnerships and to be there for the long term. And that's exactly what we want to be for the future. And that's the commitment that we will give back to you. So I guess where we stand today, we are in a great place. The business is doing very well. We're very appreciative of your support and hopefully over the coming years we can continue to develop our business to support you to deliver even better services in a way that you need to deliver for your markets and your citizens. Um, as we say today, it's a day that we can connect, we can challenge, we can ask questions. Most of all, I think it's that connection. There's lots of people around today uh, and you know, we would be very happy to introduce uh, and make sure that you're all connected. So if you are going through the day today but you can't join us for dinner, then hopefully you'll have a great day. And if you, you can join us this evening for dinner and you're down to stay for dinner, then I look forward to catching up with you this evening. Have a really great day. Thanks very much.